Hi everyone, in this video today we're going to take a look at how we can create a soul bar similar to what you have in Hollow Knight where you can like collect energy from the enemy that you kill and then you can heal uh, like uh, by giving yourself an, a new heart and those kind of things. In this video we're going to focus on creating the soul bar, connecting the logic for getting um, point of soul every time we eat an enemy and then in the next video we're going to make the healing process of the uh, character where by pressing a button you will be able to get like one heart back and two hearts and three hearts depending uh, how you are setting up your thing. Uh, this video is made possible by all the people that are buying my course so thanks to them. At the moment I have my isometric course in God of War 3, I remake my procedurally generated roguelite course in God of War 4 and I have a new course on how to create a 2D procedurally generated roguelite in unity 6.2 so if you're interested link is in the description and that's it and i also have my game lone night that you can wishlist on steam which is going to be normally released uh soon like i don't know yet probably around march but <laughs> that's where like i want to, to to release potentially the game for the asset i'm putting everything on my itch.io so you will have the link in the description it's free you can use it as you want it's fine it's just for like the making this series of tutorial anyway let's start so here I am in the project. Uh, you can see it, uh, it is different now. I've changed from God of 4.4 to God of 4.6 Dev 3. So globally, I'm using this one at the moment. Uh, it has been released like two days ago for me at the moment I'm recording this. Um, so I'm just using it. Um, I'm using 4.6 Dev 3 because it's going to uh, future proof things. If you see that in the future, obviously it's going to change. It's going to have like the, the alpha, the beta, the RC version, and then the 4.6. So use the one that is available for you. Uh, but so. Here, what we need to do uh, is we need to get the um, the sprite that we're going to use for displaying the um, the soul bar globally. So uh, for that, I'm going to come uh, here to my sprite folder right here, and for me, it is uh, this. So what I've done is I've globally I've created that um, that little piece. So here we have uh, one circle with the the full soul bar uh, completely full. And after that, we have like uh, three quarter, two quarter, one quarter, and then completely empty. And so here, what I've done is I've, I've exported that as a sprite sheet, so I can come back to Godot and I can come back to my uh, UI uh, folder right here. This will be on my itch.io. And so me, I'm going to use the soul bar right here, the PNG, and I'm going to put it into my UI folder right here. So this one that is right there, I'm just going to go to the sprite right here, and I'm just going to drag that into this folder. So now I have my soul bar, this is right here, and that's good. So in the last video, we have created the GUI, which is globally, uh, it displays the number of art that we have for our game. So what we need to do is, I would like to make it like Hollow Knight, where you have like the soul bar here, and then you have the art right there. So I need to get to my art uh, sprite right here, which is this one that you see right there. And I would like to move it. So I think I'm going to move it to 128. I think it looks alright. And now if I launch the game, normally it should display like this. Voila. So now what I would like to do is here I'm going to go to my GUI. I'm going to click on the plus right here and I'm going to add a new sprite 2D. And as sprite 2D, I'm going to drag my soul bar right there. The soul bar, I'm going to go to, uh, uh, it's not offset, it's animation. Uh, H frame, I have 5. So I'm going to put 5. And so now I have my soul bar, it is right here. Uh, I'm going to Take the uh, sprite 2D here, I'm going to rename it Soul Bar, like this, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it. Uh, I have put also myself on the smart snapping right here, so like this it snapped to the, to the grid. So it's easier for me to, to make it work. So I think I'm going to do something like this, let's see. Alright, so display globally nicely, I just need to take my the, the art now, and I just need to put something like here, and then after that I'm going to... I think make a shift a click to select both and I'm just going to move it slightly like this. So globally for me uh, the soul the art is at position so here I am on my transform right here. It is 88 and 32 and my soul bar is transform 40 and 32. So now let's have a look. Voilà, so this looks all right to me. So uh, globally, now what we need to do is we need to code the logic for displaying the amount of uh, soul that we have into the game. So for that, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to 
um, go back to how the, um, the, the art is working into my GUI, like the art system. So here I have a script globals, and in my script globals, I have a function that is called, a variable that is called elf. So if I go back to my globals, here I have elf. So now what I would like to do, is I would like to create a new variable here, and I'm gonna call it soul, and per default, I'm gonna set it to be equal to 1.0 like this. Uh, and what I would like to do is I would like to use that uh, soul for uh, retracting uh, a quarter of things. So globally, if I go back to my uh, my sprite for my sprite file, so here I am at 1, here I am dot 75, here I am at dot 50, here I am at dot 25, and here I am at 0. So globally, what I would like to do is I would like to now have a way to either put that at 1 or to uh, subtract and to add when I need to, uh, for example, like if I kill an enemy, it's going to give me dot .25 uh, of a soul, for example. So yeah, what I can do is I can create a function, and that function, I'm going to call it soul, I'm going to call it soul, soul regeneration, like this. And so here, what I would like to do is I would like to globally display the right um, the right um, image right here, depending the amount of uh, soul that I can have potentially. So here, I need to globally make a little if statement. So here, I need to say if globals dot soul is uh, let's say equal to one dot zero. Like so, I need to put double equal right here. Then what I need to do. Uh, is I need to display frame zero. So here I can uh, come here and I can take my soul bar like this, and I can say soul bar dot frame is equal to zero. And then I can just do the same thing for the rest. But uh, for example, so I can copy that, and I can come here, and here instead of one uh, dot zero, I can put zero dot seventy five, and then here it's gonna be a frame one. So it's going to be this one right here. And then I can globally come here, do the same thing. So here it's going to be 0 0.50. And here I'm going, to, I'm going to display a frame 2. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to do here replace 0 0.25. Here it's going to be uh, frame 4, frame 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. So here it's 3. And then after that, if it's 0, then we need to display the last one, which is uh, five or uh, four, sorry, well, because we are counting from zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now I can pass my soul regeneration function. I can pass it into my process function right here, like this. So now let's have a look. Let's see how it displays. So here, my on my global, uh, it is at one. So let's see if it display one. It display one, perfect. So now if I change that, let's say I'm going to put 75, uh, 0, 75, like this. Let's see now what it does. It displays 0, 75, and so I'm just test, I'm just continuing to test. Voila. Let's see, it display like this, okay, and if I do the last one, 25, and then after that, 0, then let's see. Boom, perfect. So we have the basic. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, refill the soul bar when we are attacking an enemy. So for that, what I need to do is globally, I need to uh, upgrade my soul bar when I attack the enemy. So if I go back to my enemy, so my tick tick right here, if I uh, globally, the way it works is that when uh, my hitbox sword is eating the, uh, the enemy, it removes uh, one elf from my enemy. And so here what I can do is I can also say globals dot uh, soul uh, plus equal 0 0.25, for example. And so globally, now if I launch the game and I come back here, I'm going to just come here and wait that you come here. Normally, if I eat it once, it's going to fill a bit. Voila. Voila. And you can see that now it starts to refill the, uh, the health bar, which is perfect. So now, globally, we have a little basic for doing our thing, but we need to make a little check. Because here, uh, the problem that we're going to have with this is that it's going to continue to add 0 to 25. And because our, um, our GUI in the globals, globally, uh, our soul uh, is at 0, we want to cap 
uh, the, the, the amount of soul that we have. Because for example, if our, so if our uh, soul here is at 1.0 and we are like, for example, uh, eating the, uh, the enemy, it's going to continue to add 25 to our stuff. And so here, instead of like 1.0, I eat it two times, so it's going to be 1.5. We don't want that. We want to always make sure that the maximum is 1. So like this, we can subtract when we need it. Uh, so for that, one good way to do it is that you can come to where you have the uh, the function for your enemy. So for example, me is my, on my tick tick, and here's on my global source. Here, I can say, if globals dot soul is smaller or uh, equal to 1.0 then what we can do is we can say global souls ah, globals <laughs> globals voila here we can say global soul is uh, equal to 1.0 and here we can print the amount of uh, soul that we have so here I can print uh, the amount the amount of soul is I can make a space I can come here out of the parenthesis can put a little comma like this, and then I can take my globals dot soul. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to maximize the uh, health of my tick tick. So I'm going to come here. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it at five. So like this, I can eat it five times before it dies. So normally, if I eat it uh, five times, I go, it's going to have five times 0 0.25. That's globally the logic. So here, globally, if my uh, global dot soul is uh, under uh, 1.0 so yeah I can even remove the equal because I don't want that I want to only uh, be in need to get my global soul if it's under 1.0 then we can add 0 0.25 that's globally the logic so let's have a look so I'm going to come here I'm going to put myself here I'm going to print right there and you can see right now it doesn't print anything you see I'm eating the uh, the enemy but it doesn't print anything but if I go back to my globals and here I change that to 0, 0.0. I come back here. It's going to display the empty, um, the empty soul bar right here. And so now you can see amount of soul is 0, 0.25. Ah, no. Voilà. I need to come back here. Here, amount, you see that the, the bar is uh, going up. That's cool. And the amount of soul is like this. So now, boom. Boom. And now I am at 1.0. That's perfect. Ah, voilà. And so if I come here, now normally I can't add more, you can see. So now we are locked on having only this amount of soul that we can use for then after that potentially regenerate our player. The, regen uh, the regeneration part, we're going to do it in the next video because um, that's going to uh, start to be a bit long if I do it in that video. But that's globally the logic for creating the soul bar. So that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.